your technology tutor, Chet Davis, here with you with a technology quick tip. How to use the podcast app on your iPhone. This works with your iPhone, uh, the iPod Touch. In the next video, we're going to show you how you can use the app in your iPad, which is a slight variation. And in the previous video, if you missed that, go back to my website, yourtechnologytutor.com, or my a YouTube channel that's youtube.com forward slash your technology tutor and I show how you can find uh, play and subscribe to podcasts using iTunes in your desktop or laptop computer but here we are in the iPhone and we want to download the iPod uh, and we want to download the app that will let us play podcasts, which essentially are an internet radio show so I'm going to click on the App Store you see and opens up the App Store. And if you're not already there, find the search button. And you'll find that in the bottom corner. See the bottom right corner there? Click on search and it opens up the search bar. And I click in the search bar at the top and I'm going to type in the word podcast. And you can see there's a podcast. And we're looking for the Apple Podcast app. There's a number of different podcast apps here. And I'm going to go with this one here. It's the first one that should show up. It's from the Apple company. And the little uh, purple rectangle with the icon there, that's the app. So we go ahead and click Install. And it should ask us for our password. If you've already installed software recently, it won't be asking you for the password. That's the case that I'm seeing here. And once it installs, it'll ask you if you would like to open it. See the open option in the upper right corner? We go ahead and click on that and we open up our podcast app. Now it does ask us this. Because I'm already synced or synchronized with my... Um, uh, iCloud account to my iTunes account it's saying what would you like me to turn on auto downloads sure so we go ahead and click turn those on and do you want to sync your podcasts this is recommended okay because this way if you find podcasts and you start listening to them you subscribe to them on your desktop or laptop computer by clicking sync it will synchronize them and automatically bring them over to your mobile devices as well. So very, very useful. So if you don't have any podcasts yet, look at the upper left corner and we open up the store option. This opens up the iTunes store focusing on podcasts specifically. So here are the categories for podcasts. We click on category and you can see there's a whole range of different options for these internet radio shows. Most of them are audio only. Some do have video along with them as well. And I'll be showing that more in the, uh, in the iPad app, but you can do that. You can watch the short little videos as well in your iPhone app if you wanted to do that. These are the featured options. You can see there's new and noteworthy, and then they have uh, featured podcasts in the center, and then they come down to other podcasts. Since uh, uh, baseball, Major League Baseball started this week, that's why we have play ball. And so that changes topically throughout the year. Now what we have as well is the ability here to um, scroll through. We can look for audio only, see the bottom at the bottom left corner, video, podcasts, top charts. So if you don't really have any idea, uh, but you want to listen to some podcasts, you can see here's the top audio podcast and here's the top video podcast. And once you find one you like, you go ahead and, uh, it, for example, if you wanted to uh, check out the NPR podcast, we go ahead and click on that. It will open that up and it gives us some more information. So this is very similar to the app if you've seen the iTunes Music app uh, or the Books on Tape app. Uh, or the videos as well. So here's some details and here are the most recent programs down below. Here's reviews that people have shared information on it. Very, you know, very strong reviews, f uh, four and a half to five star reviews and related podcasts. So maybe this is one you didn't really love, but you wa want to find one like it. Well, here's additional NPR podcasts on a variety of different topics. If this was a podcast you liked, what you would do is you would click on the subscribe button, okay? And it would begin including that in your feed. And you can see in the upper left corner, I now have uh, Wait, Wait, Don't Tell Me from NPR. Now take a look at this beautiful icon in the upper right corner. Now, yes, I'm a little bit biased. And if you're looking for this podcast, let's go back to the store and let's click on the search tool at the bottom right corner and type in either Chet Davis or Your Technology Tutor. I'm going to go ahead and type in my name. So I type in Chet Davis and then click the blue search button at the bottom right corner. And it will show podcast episodes, 
related to that guy named Chet Davis. There we are. So we click on that. And it will take us to the page about the podcast. Now, if you're not already subscribed to my podcast, I invite, I encourage you to do so. Uh, it's all kinds of technology tips, information that will help you be even more successful with personal technology. It's a free, regular uh, audio program, and I record between one and two new episodes every week. You can see it says subscribed. If that wasn't the case, it would say subscribe, and it would give me the option to click on that. But I'm already subscribed. To go back to the library of my contents, so I'm going to go back. I click on search, and you see in the upper right corner, it says library. So clicking on that will take us to the podcasts we have already on our device. And you can see there's your technology tutor. In the upper right corner, you have the option to go between the icons, kind of the uh, graphic images, as well as just a list view of the different podcasts. Depends on how many you have and how you like to access them. If I wanted to get rid of a podcast, like let's say I, I, I listen to the NPR uh, episode, Episodes, the podcast, and, and I, I was happy with them, but I'm done with that now. I would click on the edit button, and you can see that red circle with the white line there. And I'm going to go ahead and delete that, taking it out of my uh, podcast collection, out of my library. It still stays in iTunes, but it doesn't end up in my library. Then I click the done button. That's how you can uh, delete or remove podcasts you no longer want to subscribe to or listen to. If you wanted to listen to a particular episode of a particular podcast, like my tech, your technology tutor program, we click on that to open it up. Now you can see with this menu, there's only one episode that's downloaded right now, and it's only partially downloaded. How do I know that? Well, see this icon right here? This icon tells me that I still have some content that I am able to and need to download. So we simply touch and release that button, and it will prepare and begin the downloading process to make sure that that show, that content is available for you if you're not in Wi-Fi range. Now, right now, I'm connected to my home Wi-Fi, so you know it's, it's very easy for me. And now you see that that download indicator goes away. If we want to add additional episodes, older episodes, and they're called older because this is the most most recent episode in this particular program. We click on Add Old Episodes, and it will show us other options. Now, the indications down here, see where there's like a uh, the circle, the third and fourth episode down there? There's like a half a blue circle. That tells me that I have listened to at least part of that episode before. It's not accurate. It's not really half of the episode. I've just listened to them for just a couple of minutes. But if those are the episodes I wanted to download, what you need to know about flashcards and keeping your tech clean, we would click both of those and click the Add button you see in the upper right corner. If you wanted more information about a program, you would simply touch that blue button on the right, and it gives you more information about each specific episode. I have two episodes checked or highlighted. Now I click the Add button. They will begin downloading. Okay, And you'll see the little blue line go racing around that circle as it downloads. The speed of the download is dependent on your internet connection, your Wi-Fi connection. And this is best done when you're connected to Wi-Fi at your home or the office or at a, at a free public Wi-Fi that you know is secure and safe. Now once they're on there, you see the little download icon will disappear, and they're ready for listening. Okay. Now, we have a couple of options here. We have the ability to edit. If you're done with an episode, you can click or check it, and you can click delete as well. So that's another choice, and you can click done. There's settings as well, and it shows you the different options uh, for that particular program, for that podcast. The episodes to keep. Do you want to keep all of them? Do you want to keep the last two, the last three, the last five? It's up to you. Do you want to have auto-download? So when a new program is released, it will automatically download. Then you have the ability to customize how they appear in your window. The newest on the top or the oldest on the top, the most recent or the oldest episodes, and then how they should play one to the next to the next. You want it to go oldest to the first, for example. Then you click Done if you're done with the setup in that window. Let's go ahead and begin playing a podcast. So we touch it, and it will launch. I'm going to go ahead and pause this by touching the pause button so you're not hearing me talk twice. We're saying two different things. That would be crazy. Let's go ahead and start at the top. Now, at the top, see the arrow that says going back, your technology tutor? Well, it's telling us the program, the episode you're listening to right now is titled Your Technology Tutor. That's the program, and the episode is Common Email Mistakes to Avoid. You can click the 
um, list view in the upper right corner and it'll show you all the other episodes in this particular program. We can click that list view icon again to take us back. So this is the episode we're listening to right now. Let's go to the bottom first. At the very bottom, we have the volume bar. Okay, I'm going to run it all the way down to the left. Okay, Then begin playback. So it is now playing back the content. If you wish to fast forward, this is the fast forward button here. If you wish to rewind, you have the rewind button at the far left. Then you have these two interesting buttons here. This one will skip backwards 15 seconds before you are right now. This button here will skip 15 seconds ahead. So if you wanted to jump ahead through some specific content. There's some interesting interface options up here as well. Above the graphic for the program up here. See this? By default, it starts at one times normal speed. You can also go to 1.5 times, so one and a half times faster than real time. You can go as fast as two times. And then if you want to slow it down, maybe somebody is a fast talker, you can slow it down the 0.5 or half speed. And clicking it again by default will take you back to one time speed. Next to that, in the center above the artwork, you have a sleep timer. So if you're listening to a program and you don't want your iPhone to be playing for hours and hours and hours, maybe you fall asleep taking a nap in the middle of the day or in the nighttime, you can have it turn off in 5 minutes, 10, 15, 30, 45, or in one hour, or when the current episode ends. So you can listen to the complete episode and then turn off the uh, app, podcast app. When you're done, you simply click the Done button. Then at the top right corner above the artwork, we have the ability to share this podcast with somebody. We can email it to a friend, send it in a text message, uh, tweet about it on Twitter, or make a post on Facebook and update our status there. At the top of the menu here, this is the scrub bar. So we have the ability by simply touching it and scrolling to the left, we go back in time, and scrolling to the right, we go ahead in time. So on the left side, we see what we call the elapsed time. How many minutes and seconds are we into the program? So I'm two minutes and, well, now I'm three minutes and 35 seconds in on the program. At the far right, it tells us how much time there is yet left in the program. So at this present position, I'm a little more than three and a half minutes in, but I have 27 minutes remaining on the program. Okay, now that we've taken a look and seen up close and personal how the podcast app works on our iPhone, let's go ahead and go back and we can click back here to My Podcast. And I would invite you, I would encourage you again to check out My Podcast, Your Technology Tutor. Chet Davis saying thanks for joining me today.